that. From Selkirk, corkscrew. A revolving body with two blades made out of a lorry wheel with tank type steering. John Heatley promised his boys he'd build a robot for them if they raised the money they did by washing cars. Here they are. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Be destructive. Well, that's one. The corkscrew, the wheel hub with the kilt and the Scottish spirit has thus far withstood the pressure shunt away. There goes the revolving corkscrew. It's all maddened, whirling and twirling out there, a Highland fling team black. Corkscrew. The men with the Highland braver at wheel has stopped spinning. The other blade is still moving furiously. Close in on Corkscrew as the kilt got caught up in there. Lorry wheel face for Corkscrew, which has its own spinning blades, but I don't think they're working, are they? For the controls for this heat semi-final, John Heatley taking over from Lewis, who was the controls for the victory over neither faster than two. Oh, and onward! Was that suicidal, John Heatley there? But again, they bravely noticed that. Corkscrew still in there fighting. What an unlikely machine, to be honest, to have reached thus far. Will the heat final be that close? Robot Wars Series semi final. Corkscrew against doing a slide there. Dominator 2, down comes the axe. Well, it's Cat. A total 360 degree killing zone with a Sremek, but at 20 miles an hour top speeds, it is difficult to control. Experience, pace and weaponry, rocks coming in. Chronic 2 trying to lever up the flipper there. Rocks with the beat, the crush. Oh, look at that attack from Corkscrew. 99 kilos in at speed, 20 miles an hour, slamming into panic attack side panels, which are designed to stop anything getting in underneath. Two wheels now left exposed. Fluffy. There's the spinning body of Corkscrew slamming into Fluffy. That has the more conventional spinning blade weaponry. Crashes into Corkscrew. This robot to control. Of course, we find it easy. Oh! Slamming into Weldor from Northern Ireland. Self-riding spectacularly. Caught down in the corkscrew control box. Are oh, they going to spin their way into oblivion again? Very close to going down that pit. Their history in Robot Wars has been dogged by that sort of problem. Oh, the great power as they attack Bondi Titch off him a side panel. Look at this. Corkscrew's revolving blades tearing off a side panel there of Bondi and Dreams in tatters. There's Corkscrew surviving to fight on. They've made the second round. And now, they're taking on Matilda. Massive power in those blades. Look at the damage. We've seen the destructive power of Corkscrew's spinning six blades bumping into crustacean with the aluminium shell.